Hey, uh, hello, hello, what's up guys? Is this clean? Let me wipe that off. Uh, what was on that? <laughs> um, hope everybody had a happy, happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to do a, uh, another video for you guys for some of my, uh, with some of my Pumas. Like I said, I would. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I started my 31 days of Puma love. Um, I'm going to be featuring a different shoe in my collection, uh, Pumas, every day up until Janu uh, January 1st. So um, follow me on Instagram for that goodness. I'll also be doing some 12-second sneaker reviews and all of its um, vulgar glory for that ass. So tune in. I'll try to make it entertaining and uh, tasteless. Tasteless. I want to get into some of my suede's that I've had forever, my Puma suede's. Shout out to Puma, um, they're showing me a lot of love. And um, uh, everybody that's collected Puma, the Forever Fresh, if you don't uh, follow For Forever Fresh, uh, Measle, Professor B, uh, all those cats, um, big up to them. Anyway, uh, follow them on uh, Instagram too, Instagram, Twitter, Forever Fresh on Flickr. Um, if you have any questions about Pumas, they are the guys. So, uh, Anyway, uh, also shout out to Premium Pete, man. Shout out to SneakerTube. If you notice on my on my Instagram, my uh, my um, link is my SneakerTube link, not my YouTube link. Uh, go straight to SneakerTube. Go check out some of those videos. Uh, and and also shout out to everybody that fucking does this, JD and um, and Zaya and Fomer and all those guys. Fuck, man. Like this is like I've filmed this like ten times already. So. Um, Man, they make it look easy. It's not that easy. Well, I guess it is. You just fucking sit there and talk about shoes. But anyway, I find it difficult. And I wasn't going to do this video because I feel fucking bloated today. But anyway, I owe you a video. Here it is. Puma, uh, Puma Suede's from 94. Uh, uh, Foot Locker had them. And I scooped them up. All three pair. Let me show you. Um, <clears throat> the burgundy. These burgundy joints right here. Um, all bar lace too. All these are bar laced. Um, that's what we did back then. Uh, the blue pair, these were kind of standard issue. The blue, you had blue and black. And all the other colors were like bonus. But you had to have the blue. You had to have the black. And of course, you know, back then, we didn't have... Uh, we didn't have... Back in my day, uh, we didn't have Supra or Nike SB or anything else to skate in. Janowski's, whatever. We had... Puma suede's and we add shell toes. So if you notice, like right here, I skated the fuck out of these right there. So all worn down. And these these held up. I mean, look at this. I mean, they held up really, really well. <laughs> As it's all falling apart. But you know, if this is a basketball shoe, it like like can dissolve. Anyway, the blue pair and then the green pair. These were fucking dope. Like if you had the green pair, seriously, like. These were hard to find back then. They weren't just everywhere. Uh, so I had to pick up the green pair. I, I love these. You know, and again, look, I mean, I could I wear these still to this day. Even skated in them. Bar laced and everything. So um these three right here. Uh my Puma suede's from '94. You had to get them, and and uh, I've kept them. I, I kept them for you know, shit, twenty years now, almost twenty years. Uh, feels like twenty. Yeah, they and still in, in good condition. Of course, I lost the boxes, but um, but yeah, uh, back then too, you know, in it was the nineties. We're inspired by um, you know, hip hop and uh, that whole streetwear, which was budding culture. Back then, it wasn't streetwear. It was just like you know, extra large and fucked, and all those brands that were just hip and cool. And of course, the Beastie Boys. I mentioned this in my other videos. You know, they're probably the quintessential reason why, you know, uh, people started dressing the way they did back then. Uh, this was daily viewing for me too. I found this too. Hey kid, oh hey kids, look, it's a VHS. Uh, bet your mama got some of this. I know your mama got some of that. Um, my your mama's gonna get some of this too. Um, this is uh, Beastie Boys skills to pay the bills. We I watch this every day, man, every day, um, just to feel cool. Uh, but also too, if you notice, like on the cover, um, Mike D rocking the campus, and then MCA. Um, shout out to MCA. I'll see you again soon, my brother. Um, 
He's also rocking campus. But right there, right in the middle, man. Um, Ad Rock, that motherfucker right there. Uh, rocking, um, uh, looks like either suede or um, uh, baskets. I think they're baskets. Um, but if uh, anyway, they're, they're white and green with a green uh, form stripe right there. Man, that's grail status for me. You know, I'm a simple guy. Of course, I have outrageous grails like everybody does. But that right there... Man, I would love to have a, a pair like that. Um, and I'm sure they're out there. I just, I'm just too lazy to look. But anyway, um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I wanted to show you um, some of my, my suede's. I'll show you some more in, in other videos. Uh, but be sure and watch me uh, watch me do my thing on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, into THA0. Zero, zero. Maybe that'll be my thing. Hey, ooh. Zero. Uh, uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, into THA Zero on Twitter, Facebook, all that shit. Um, I'll be doing my 12 second singer reviews. Leave me comments, leave me suggestions. Uh, I'm really good at following back too, so if you follow me on uh, Instagram, I always follow back, but don't follow and unfollow. No, no, no. That's some bullshit. Um, anyway, follow me and uh, you guys be good, be safe, uh, be, be nice to each other. Uh, it is tis the season, motherfuckers. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Peace. Oh, shout out to JD. Shout out to uh, Dank Customs. Follow them. Much love. Uh, you guys be safe. Peace.